But if in heaven we glorify in you, and so anything of the habit of God, we'll go to turn some topic quickly. It's so close by you, but because at times we are so busy, or because probably of the modern things of the world, we are not actually seeing what is for us. If you want to know your future, it is in God. If you want to know your success, it is in God. And so the benefit of having the God number one, if you are looking for power, power to overcome, power to succeed, power to turn against serpent and scorpion, power to turn against and people will know that you are a man indeed, not a man of the world, but a man in God. In Luke chapter 10, verse 19, the, one of the benefits to be in the habit of God is power. Jesus said, I have given you power to turn against what? Serpent and scorpion. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Power. And so, just as I spoke, it pump blood to the kidney. The kidney will work properly. When you do what it takes in the habit of God, do what evangelism, do what reaching out to others, as you see in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, when Jesus sent them two by two, he said, I'll give you what? Power to trade against serpent and scorpion. And so there is no if you are looking for power, the power we are talking about is God. The power we are talking about, number two, deliverance. They are deliverance schools. They are specialized in doing deliverance. They will tell you, say this word, say that, read this, read that. It's good to go in all those things. But you want to be delivered from demons. You want to be delivered from what? Witches. You want to be delivered from every work of the devil. Just be in the will of the habit of God. In Luke chapter 10, verse 19, the B part, it said what? Nothing shall by any means what? Hurt you. Even demon will bow before you. Witches will bow before you. Nothing shall so many means hurt you. Today we are seeing even Christians. Some will tell you that I am being afflicted. And if they ask them what is afflicting you, they say, my people in the village, there is witchcraft against me. But what Jesus said in Luke chapter 10, verse 19b, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Are you looking for deliverance? So those benefits, as I mentioned, deliverance, forget about the witches, forget about the demons, forget about those powers that are hindering you. Just be in the habit of God. The benefit of deliverance in the habit of God will follow you in Jesus' name. And also, we are looking for fame. But in all our fame, the Bible says, what shall it profit a man to take over and lose his life his soul? It is appointed one man to die. And after that, there's what? To face the judgment of God in a day to come. But there's a way your name will be known by God. There are people who are living on earth there. They are so successful. They are so rich. But I'm telling you, their name is not in the book of life. Thank God for you and me, our name is in the book of life. And our name will continue to be there in Jesus' name. And so, one of the benefits is, if in heaven we know you, God will know you. In the same Luke chapter 10, verse 20, it said, we just not for the speech is subject to you, but because your name is written in the what? Book of life. I'm seeing people in other religion. They will do hands. They will say, if I give this, the Lord will have what? Mercy over me. If I do this ceremony, the Lord will have mercy over me. If I go to some place somewhere and just serve my God, the Lord will have mercy over me. But we see the benefit to the heartbeat of God when you go out there and declare the word of God to the unsafe and bring them to the kingdom. 
Your name is written in the book of life. That is how heaven knows you. It's not by a religious ceremony. It's not by what you let me give that. Go help myself for me. The only way your name is written in the book of life is when you go. and declare the good news of today. That will be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. There is also a financial God. You want to say, how ah, is it going to happen? How ah, is it going to happen? God is not a man that should lie. Neither the son of man that should repent. Whatever he says, he will do it. There is no man who has stood for the will of God and has lied. Jesus was even declaring this to his disciple. He said, when I called him, did you laugh? He said, no. And he was asking them. At the time, I think he had more than 12 disciples. And most of them returned back. But the few who stood with him, they knew where he was taking them from. There's nothing impossible when you're in the heartbeat of God. Whatever financial victory you're looking for, Try God and prove him. He's not a man that should lie. Whatever finance you are looking for, just go out there, preach the word of God. Bring the word to the unsaved. Let them come to the kingdom of God. And you test God if God will not bless you. He will surely bless you in Jesus' name. And also another benefit. Tell me a child that makes his father to be happy if that father will not bless that child. If that father will not rejoice in that child. The Bible says in Luke chapter 15 verse 7. It said there is joy in heaven. For a sinner that God saved. Rather than 99 men who need salvation. And so what energized heaven? What motivates heaven? What makes heaven to laugh, to rejoice? It's not what we do religious ceremony. Yes, heaven comes and stands still. But the joy you see in heaven is that when a soul is being saved, if joy is in heaven, what will happen on earth? What will happen unto you? You that have brought joy to your father, your maker, the great I am that I am, the Lord of love, the mighty God. When heaven rejoices in you, there is blessings. When heaven rejoices in you, there is favor. And if you want heaven to rejoice in you today, don't look at yourself and say, ah, I am too small. I cannot do this. Just go out there. Be in the will, in the, in the things that makes God glorified, which is the heartbeat of God. And when joy comes back on earth, blesses God. When my very small here, but as we are in Spiritual, 
Don't look at yourself and cry yourself down. Me, I don't think I'm spiritual. I think it's the leaders in the church that are spiritual. It does not come by reading the Bible. It does not come by reading the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Yes, it's part of it. But what makes you to grow is being in the heartbeat of God. Spiritual growth comes when you go out there and preach the word of God. Go out there and declare the word of God. It does not matter whether you know scripture. Just say, Jesus loves you. God loves you. That is something great in the sight of God. And so there is a spiritual growth. And when that spiritual growth starts coming in, things start happening. Because things in the spirit is what manifests in the world, in the physical. So in Psalm 1, from verse 1 to verse 3, the Bible said, Blessed is that man who sits not in the seat of the sinner, neither walk in the path of the scuffle, but his delight is upon what? The word of God. Upon that word does it make day and night, day and night. Shall be like a tree planted in the river that bring forth his food. This month we talk about fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. And so there's what? Spiritual growth. You may not know the Bible as much as you can, but in you, God knows you. You are bearing fruit, spiritual fruit. Because he that God has saved a soul has bear what spiritual growth. That is your portion in Jesus' name. This morning, you are special in the sight of God. I don't want you to look at yourself and say, I am not educated. I, I just talk at some place. That is not the purpose of God for man. Everything we are is just an additional. What makes you a man? What makes you in the presence of God somebody? Is when you are in the will of God, in the righteousness of God. Back in the book of Genesis, when God made Adam and Eve, he was fellowshipping with them. Was there any other thing? What made man man was because of the fellowship with God. Any other addition is just an addition. But the righteousness of God is what God wants to see in us. And I believe this day we will see it in Jesus' name. And also, bearing food is one of the benefits. Bearing food. You will bear food. In John chapter 15, verse 16, the Bible explicitly says that if you want to bear food, the food you bear is in Christ Jesus. It's you can only bear food when you are in the will of God, doing what energizes God, doing what makes heaven attention to stand still and that is what we make you what, be, what that is what we make you to bear fruit in John chapter 15 verse 16 ye have not chosen me but I have chosen you or then you that you should go and bear forth fruit and that your fruit should be made that whatsoever ye shall ask of the father in my name he may give it to you is the desire of the father for you to bear fruit and you will do that to what? The heartbeat of God. And so any other thing we do in the physical is just an addition. But what God needs, as I was mentioned, thousands of years have passed by. Man has gone apart from God. Jesus came to save man. And even before Jesus was going, he gave you a commission that we should go and preach the gospel. It's not saying you should be a preacher. Just preach the gospel. Just say it to people. Bring the unsaved to him. And so, you should be a food. We are a, we are a on the tree. And Jesus, when he was preaching of God, I mean, be a food. And that's what we only be here to the world, the habit of God. In this month of October, as we are in our evangelism uh, month, I don't want you to look down on yourself. Be a food unto God. And as you be a food unto God, whatsoever I ask of the Father, He will give you unto you in Jesus' name. 
As I said, it is appointed once man to die. After that, there is judgment. No judgment will come upon you and me in Jesus' name. We will make heaven in Jesus' name. We will be the will of God in Jesus' name. There is also a place in heaven for you. The fellowship you have seen, God was how you thought about it. It was just like a picture of a greater fellowship God wants, which is children. We are all children of God on this earth. Somebody will say, ah, I don't need your God. I don't need Jesus. But we are all children of God. And we will have to return back unto him and fellowship with him as Adam was fellowshipping with God. And so, but when we are in that heartbeat of God, that desire we God want for the children of God to come back unto him, there is a place in heaven for you. In John chapter 14, verse 1 and 2, Jesus said, Let not your heart be dismayed. Believe in God and believe in me. In my Father's house, there are many mansions. If you are not so, I should have told you, I go to prepare a place. Where I am, there you will be. Is that not what he said in his word? And so there is a place in heaven for you. As I mentioned earlier, there is nothing that will attract God blessing, God favor, and you fellowship with God, with ceremonies we see in people not that religion they are doing. They will pay thousands of dollars in some place for the forgiveness of their God. But when they come back, no love for their fellow men. When they come back, they are doing the same thing they used to do before. And then they will say, if you recite this, you say this, you say that, you will make heaven. But what Jesus is telling us is quite different. Let not your heart be dismayed. Believe in me. Believe in God and believe in me. And how can you believe in God if you are not in the heartbeat of God? This month, believe in God. This month, believe in Jesus. Go out there. Declare the good news. Go out there. Declare what made heaven to rejoice. What makes you to be a food? What makes you exemplary? And as you do, there is a place awaiting you in Jesus' name. I said there is a place awaiting you in Jesus' name. And also, one of the benefits, all of you have friends here. Tell me, if your friend is in need or is in trouble, he calls you. Let me say, Brother Gilbert, your friend calls you. Brother Gilbert, come and help me, I'm in trouble. Brother Gilbert will not sit down. Even if it's late in the night, he will call the police and say, please, my friend is in trouble. Or if you have a chance, he will tell other people and say, let's go and see what is happening there. And the other benefit, it is that you will be a friend of God. If you are a friend of God, you tell me, you call God, and, and, or you need me forward and say, Father, this is my desire. Father, I need your help. We didn't sit down. He will not see that. If the friend you see physically, as I mentioned an example, but I give that, he will go and rescue his friend, much more your God. He will answer your prayer quick. He will come and fight for you. He will come and declare his might. In John chapter 15, verse 15. In John chapter 15, verse 15. And Jesus said, He said, henceforth, I call you not servant, for the servant knoweth not what is what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. And he will make known more unto you in Jesus' name. You want to know the will of God, you want to know the power in Christ Jesus, you want to know the resurrection power. Be a friend of God and can two walk together and say the word, agree. You tell me your wife at home, let's go this way. Say, no, I'm not going that way. Let's go that way. Say, I'm not going that way. I don't see how that marriage will last long. Nobody's divorced here in Jesus' name. Your marriage is blessed. I said, Your marriage is blessed. 
In fact, somebody is getting married before the end of this year. I want to hear a big amen. I said your marriage is blessed in Jesus' name. And so, if you want to know the will, the power, the mind of God, be a friend of God. And your father, who is your friend, his desire is for men to be saved. And you partner with him, and you walk with him, and you do his will. And you, I mean, that is heartbeat. He is your friend. I said he's your friend. When you take the phone to call him in prayer, as he declared in Jeremiah 33, 33, 33, 33, call unto me, I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty thing, with that who is not. God will show you his mind. God will show you his will. There is nothing that we want to happen, God will not tell you. And this is what you see the prophet who said, can God do something without declaring it to his prophet? The prophet of God are the friends of God. And you become a prophet and a friend of God. There's nothing that God wants to do, he will not tell you. If something wants to happen in the family, if there is friend, will he hide it from you? He will show you. He will declare it to you. And anytime you call unto him for blessings and peace, he will give you in Jesus' name. This morning, this month, and this year, and as years goes by, and as you live your Christian journey, be a friend of God by doing what made God happy. By being in the heartbeat of God, and God will do great and mighty in you in Jesus' name. You will enter into your rest. I have been seeing people moving all about this time. Not only here in Kenya. They are moving the money to and fro, just going about. Just doing about doing what they will do. They go, uh, they go back, they come back home as they went. No satisfaction. No joy. The problem is still there. The affliction is still there. In fact, they come back worse than they went. Maybe they went to some sadness, they come back, the sadness is still tied to where they went with. But that's not what God made for you. God, as I mentioned, we will have fellowship with God in the Garden of Eden. Send today his fellowship with us, and he want to fellowship with us. If you are in that his will, you will enter into your rest. You've labored so much. You've suffered so much. You have all the knowledge. You have all the, the intellectual capability to be in that position, to be there, to be there. But things are not working the way you work. Just be in the habit of God. You will enter into your rest. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 10. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 10. The Bible says, For he that is entered into his rest, he has ceased from his own works, as God did from his. You will cease from your work of failure. Amen. You will cease from your work of regret. Amen. You will cease from those work that are not benefit you. Amen. Now, henceforth, every work you do, you see success. Amen. You see the progress. Amen. And so these are the benefits. When you're in the aspect of God, this is what God has called you and me. Don't say it's only the duty of the pastor, the duty of the members. It's everybody's duty because God has created in you his spirit. God has in you his power. God has in you his will. And so, the failure we are seeing on earth today, of course, we heard about the fighting going on in Russia and in Ukraine. They are fighting. And even somebody is saying uh, there is going to be a great Armageddon. And I say, I'm not sure. Because that's not what the Bible told me. The Bible said there will be rapture. After rapture, there will be tribulation. And so, these people have not ceased in their own world. They are in their own world. And I want to see who is going to use nuke on this earth. This earth is not going to be destroyed. Because the Bible didn't tell me so. The Bible told me that God created heaven and earth. And he's the only one that has authority to finish this earth. And I'm seeing people are so scared. They are so moving all about. Relax yourself, my brother. Relax yourself, your sister. We have entered into our earth in Jesus' name. 
God Himself will protect this earth. And so, as I mentioned, you will enter into your waste. All that your labor, all that your, you have been thinking is the way. God will give you fresh idea. Of course, from the circumstances that's around you. Maybe even to live your life, things are difficult. Yes, they are difficult, but God is taking you somewhere. Yes, they are difficult. I am seeing something happening in your life. You just do what makes heaven happen. And you will see it come to pass in Jesus' name. In Ezekiel 3, 17, it says, Son of man, I am really a watchman over the house of Israel to declare the word of God. Who probably will take some brother, but in the Bible. What is the Bible say? It's the son of man that made you what? To the sinner, to the unrighteous. And so, may God forgive us. From this one of way, that means. Whom you have been with long years back, you have an opportunity to go to hell because the word of God was not declared today. May God have mercy over us in Jesus' name. This time, as we are about this word, the habit of God, we know what may God do. God will not be nice. Some of our friends, some of our brothers, some of our sisters, all you need to do, just tell them. God loves you. Give your life to Jesus. You do your part. You do what makes God's heart beat 
You do not make God happy. Something great will happen in their life in Jesus' name. Also, why the urgency for the advent of God? Souls are perishing. Souls are perishing. In fact, Peter, chapter 5, verse 8. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. It said, Be sober, be vigilant, because you advance the devil as a roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may devour. The devil is doing 24 hour job. Why Christians, we are just sitting. Jesus is loved. Jesus loved me. I will succeed. I will make heaven. It's nice. We are going to make heaven. But the devil is walking 24 hour. It is a war between what? Righteousness and unrighteousness. Light and darkness. You, you, you here be a representative of your father in heaven. You here be the light of God. You here is a light lit upon the mountain that shines for the world to see. Will you sit by and allow Satan to terrorize what is your father's? You will not. And so, the devil is rolling as a holy lion, seeking he may devour, and he's devouring a lot. Go out in this city, maybe by 12 midnight, and see our young people, those who are drinking, those who are in alcohol, doing all sorts of things. And you are here, will you sit by and allow the devil to conquer? I bet you will not. So there's everything around. We may declare the word of God in Jesus' name. And so, as I come to an end this morning, you are special. You have not been saved to just come and be blessed and be filled with the anointing of God. And you go back home, you sleep well with your family. Yes. In the act of God. Have you been blessed? I want to tell you the blessing God will give you when you walk in His will. The joy you have is not to the one you are going to have when you walk in the act of God. Start going and, and pastors are honored people, pastors are reverend people. When a pastor goes every success you'll be looking for, every blessing you'll be looking for. Rejoice. God is telling you, this is what I will make your name to be written in 
a book of life in heaven. This morning, you've heard the word of God. And I believe all what you say, Lord, here am I. Send me. Lord, here am I. Be your way. I want you to ask your God. You can stand up this morning. I want you to start talking to your God this morning. You have a reason to praise your God. God has kept you as well. God has kept you throughout this year. He will keep you for many more years. But you will be, you will be in what it takes that makes heaven rejoice. A son that pleases his father, his father will be pleased in that soul. A son that makes his father to be happy, the father will make his son to be happy. God will make you be happy. God will make you the man or woman you should be. God will bless you. God will lift you up. You have a purpose, a spiritual purpose to accomplish, a spiritual duty to do for your maker. The physical aspect, God is going to do it for you. Don't get worried about what you eat. Solomon in his riches, Solomon in his wisdom, he has the best plot. Gold, silver, diamond. But even in his way, where he blesses, even the flower, his blessing never overcame the flower God created. Everything will go away. Everything you have will go away. But what only time is the will of God? What only time is the habit of God? What only time is what God has had in us in the Garden of Eden? Fellowshipping with you and me. This morning, you have a reason to praise your God. This morning, you have a reason to praise your God. This morning, Nina Sababu, Yakuku Abudu. This morning, you have a day to praise your God. This morning, declare to God this morning, you will do it for Him. You will do it for Him. You will do the will of God. You will be a vessel to honor. You will be a vessel to the salvation of God. Every fear in you, let it go this morning. Every shyness, let it go this morning. Break every yoke this morning. Break every spell this morning. Every accusation of the devil. You want to do it, but you are so fearful. You want to do it, you feel you are accused. You want to do it, you feel that ah, I think I have a problem there. You have no problem. You do your part, God will do it in your life. You do your part, God will fulfill in your life. You declare righteousness, God will be righteous in you. You declare holiness, God will be holiness in you. You declare the advent of God, God himself will do something in you. You will be a friend of God. You will be a fool. You will be the man God wants you to be. Don't look low upon yourself because of education, because you are not rich, because of whatever limitation. You are somebody in the presence of God. God knows you because your name is written in the book of life. God knows you. He is giving you power. God knows you. Nothing shall surround me hurt you. If God be for you, who can be against you? This morning, talk to your maker. As we have been sent, as the church said, let's go and do it. You go. God is green for you in every aspect of your life. In your school, he is green there. In that job, he is green there. In that business, he is green there. In that home, he is green there. Upon that, your husband is green there. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Maybe as a woman. I'm left to say this. You will preach to your husband. You are the one that is going to preach your husband into the church. He has to be saved. Somebody here is going to preach somebody in that is going to be the husband. As a woman, I'm left to say this. These are the blessings. God is looking. These are the blessings of God. Or oh, as a man, you will preach your wife in. Because God wants to do 
something in that life before it joins you together. You do the will of God. You do the part of God. And God will do his own part. I don't know what is your desire this morning. Whatever desire this morning, whatever need this morning, I want you to, to, to decline it to God this morning. God will fulfill it in your life. This month of October, in our team, our God is the God of God. Our Lord is the Lord of Lord. He is mighty and awesome. He is most powerful and glorious. He is the most excellent and mighty God. He is the God that has never failed. Ask him for a special blessing. The God of blessing. The God who I serve and I know he is in heaven. The creator of heaven and heart. There is nothing too hard for him. Everything you ask unto him today. Thank God for your testimony. You are coming to testify. Just ask him for that special blessing. So Lord, you have declared, you will be in the habit of God in this month of October. And for many months and years, you will be in that of his purpose. Nothing shall be opposed from you. No blessing will be told from you. No blessing will be told from you. Any man or woman who has been fighting you is fighting a loose battle. Every power that says you not prosper, you will prosper. The power will be cut off. Because in Luke 10, he said, I gave you power to turn against something as champion. And nothing shall the enemies hurt you. This morning, you are walking in the miracle. You are walking in power. You are walking in the life of favor. That is what I said to God. That is what you have declared this morning, Father, to you. We have declared to walk in your will, in your heartbeat. This morning, Father, as we go, we go with God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Spirit. Look upon your children, Father. You are not a man that loves another, a son of man that he paid. You have done the time pass for men who walk in your way, Father. I have declared your word today that, Lord, the benefit in doing your will, favor will come upon men, success will come upon men. Their name will be written in the book of life, and they will be your friend, Father. This of your friend, this of your children, Father. Lord, as we go out today, Father, as they declare what Father, every desire or need, they have been crying for 10 years back. They have been crying for 15 years back. Oh God has blessed men. Oh God has made men to be rich. Oh God that has never failed. Lord, before the end of this month, that will do something that they will know there's a God that live on earth, that they will know there's a God whose name is the Elohim, whose name is the Elion, whose name is the Shara, whose name is the Jaya, whose name is the Africa, the Shikeno, the Nisi, the Sham, the Shama, the light of the world, he that has never failed. That you will do unto them in Jesus' name. Every blessing, Father, your children are yearning for. They need it, dear Father. Grant unto them, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you, we bless you, Father. We give you all honor, all glory, all adoration, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Blessed Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.
we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, we give you adoration. We lift you in the Let's go before God. Let's pray this one prayer before you sit down. Let's say, Lord, Lord, make me a witness. Make me a witness. Me a witness. In the name of Jesus. Go before him. Let's cry out to him. Say, Lord, make me a witness. Lord, make us a witness, make us a witness, make us a witness in our homes, Lord, in our schools, in our environment, in our working place. Lord, make us a witness. Let that be your prayer. Lord, as we leave this place, help us to become a witness, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, cry out to him. Say, Lord, make me a witness. As I walk in this life, let me be a witness. Let me be a witness to you, Lord. Make us become witnesses to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Every place where we go, Father, make us become witnesses, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 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 One more prayer before you sit down. Say, Lord, give me boldness. Give me boldness. I declare boldness upon my life. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but has given us a spirit of power, love, and sound mind. Decree that you are bold. You are boldness. In the name of Jesus, Father, we decree boldness upon our lives this morning. In the name of Jesus, we have boldness to witness, boldness to face life. We decree boldness, Mandorus. In the name of Jesus, we are bold as lions. They crochet. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, Father. We give you honor. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Giving time. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Like us to prepare our seats. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me just bring the scriptures on the screen. Not out of regret or compassion for what we must have one. Let me see by show and share for givers this morning. Amen. 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 So when you're giving, you should be cheerful. Amen. God doesn't want people who are forcing giving. He wants you to give from the bottom of the heart. The Bible says that God is what? Come on, able. Come on, to make Amen. all grace Amen. abound Amen. to me. One more time. God Amen. is able Amen. to make Amen. all grace Amen. abound Amen. to me. Amen. So that in all things, Amen. at all times, Amen. and all I need, I will abound Amen. in every good work. I will have Amen. everything Amen. I need. Amen. In the name of Jesus. As you give your seat this morning, um, you will have all that you need. In the name of Jesus. God will give you harvest. Harvest will meet harvest in your life. You will not lack. You will not lack school fees. You will not lack, you will not lack material things. You will not lack that new house that you want. That new car that you are desiring from God. You will not lack it. Amen? Bible says if you are willing and obedient, you what? You will eat the good of the land, not the, not the bad of the land, the good of the land, you will eat it. Amen? Say this together with me. I, I will eat the good of the land. 
So you go where people go. You eat what people eat. Amen? Amen. So um, this morning, if you brought your time, you brought your... God puts in your hands. And never one who in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare this morning, Father Lord, that floodgates have been opened of our life, Lord, pouring so much blessing there, Father, the Lord be room enough to stop. In the name of Jesus, we pray, we believe. Amen. God will bless you. God will bless you. And the rest of us, God is going to bless you. Amen. God will bless you. So, uh, together, let's decree this. The information of giving is something on the envelopes, and I believe that all of us have received it. It's important that when we come to the house of God, we don't come empty handed. Amen. It's important that you come with a seed. Because as you leave that seed there, as your seed goes out to help us, to evangelize, do all these things, your attitude and your worship goes to heaven and God pours out a blessing. Amen? So information we're giving is over there. If you make it check, make it payable to Kingswood National Christian Center. And like the way we normally say it, somebody's going to write here a check for $10,000, $100,000. $200,000 in the name of Jesus. He realized I didn't say Kenyan shillings. I said dollars because I know that people here, God is going to raise internationally. Amen? You are blessed. As we give today's offering, as I give today's offering, I believe the Lord for more than four streams of income, jobs, and better jobs, raises, and bonuses, benefits, sales. Estates, inheritances, interest, and income, rebates, and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, finding money, debts paid off, expenses decrease, blessing and increase. Thank you to all my financial needs that I may have more than enough to give it to the kingdom of God and promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. Everlasting Father, we bless you. Your people have given. We decree and declare that more is given to them. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Men are given to the apostle. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare none of us shall lack. Liko Sharada. Father, we decree and declare one more time none of us will lack. In the name of Jesus, Lord, despite the economic situation in this country, we decree and declare nobody shall lack. In the name of Jesus. You provide, Lord, according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. All of us, Lord God, are provided for in the name of Jesus. We give you glory. We give you honor because it is done in the name of Jesus. We pray, we believe. Amen. Everyone say this after me. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not lack. In the name of Jesus. That will be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Let me bring announcements very fast. Um, uh, welcome to King's National Christian Center, a place where champions are raised, territories are taken. This morning, if this is your first time for being here, will you kindly rise on your feet? I can give you your guests to welcome. If it's your first time for being here, will you rise on your feet? Thank you so much for coming. You will take it for granted. At the end of the service, please don't run away. You know, come and see me. Um, the ashes will, take, will show you where to sit. I will give you more information on who we are, what we're doing here. If you have questions, we'll be able to answer them. And we are so, so glad that you came to worship together with us. Thank you so much for coming. And may God bless you. Amen. And it will Speaking about evangelism, when you go out to evangelize, it's not always the people that you speak to who come. God Himself sent His own people, and you will see it over and over again. People just come, you know, um, that you didn't even evangelize to, because it is the, it is, it is, it is, it is the, the thing that it's the will of God for us to do that. 
please remember that uh, prayer, prophecy, and power with Pastor Matthew, 60 minutes of power every morning from um, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. is still on. So please join together with Pastor Matthew. Even as you follow us on this on local platform, also, also follow KSCC on the international platform. Amen? And God will bless us together. Um, and every, uh, every Wednesday from 9 p.m., we have uh, International Bible Study uh, with Pastor Matthew again. Um, please remember that for us, every day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the power of power. What do they say? Tell, tell them that if when you join, you get power. Amen? Ask them, do you want power? Make sure you join yeah, sure you one join. hour power. Sure and your life will never be the same again. Amen? So please, every and declaring things over our lives. When you see our lives begin to start changing, don't, don't, I don't say that, don't, don't, don't wonder what's happening. Just know that it is So please join every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Only one hour in the life of a person. Membership classes are on hold this month because we're going out to talk to people about Christ. Last Sunday we went. Now was it? Let me see by show from those people who are so, so glad they went. Let me see. Only those who are glad they went. Let me see by show of Okay, let me see by show of hands those who are, not, who are not glad to go. They were just forced to, they were just coerced you to go. Let me see. Let me see by show of hands. How many of you would like to go again? Let me see by show of hands. You want to go again? You want to go again? Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. So, so, so some of you went for the first time and you were so surprised that it's so easy. You go out and you just tell people about Christ, you know, and you grow. Like Lady Katana was saying, there's peace in your life, there is growth. The spiritual growth and you have fulfilled the big commission of Christ. Amen. You go back home and you're so excited that you did it for God. So as you go today again and you do it for God, when you pray, your prayer will be answered. Amen. Because you're doing, you're seeking it first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all, all these things that people run after. These all these things. I almost, I almost mentioned the story that I saw online. About a lady who people run, run after, you know, God will give them to you. That's what the Bible says. Amen. So seek ye first the kingdom of God. Put God first. Put God first. Amen. So at the end of the service, first of all, there will be tea. There's tea, right? Okay, there's tea for you. Please make sure that you partake of the tea. Make sure you fellowship. Then once you finish the tea, we're going to go out for one hour around here, talk to people about Christ. And you come back and you can go home. Or you can go home from there and God will bless us together. Amen? Amen. Are you blessed? Amen. Are you glad that you came? Let's put our hands together. First of all, to Jesus. You know? Then let's, 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 let's also appreciate the Kazano. How many of you would like to deserve to come and cruise again? Yeah. How many of you are blessed? Let me see. Wonderful, wonderful. Man, he will come back again and he will preach. Amen. I'm blessed. I'm highly favored. God is on my side. And because God is with me, I can never fail. The greater one indwells me, puts me over and above every circumstance. Therefore, no weapon. From the Guinness Book shall prosper every time that will rise against me in judgment, is contempt. 2022 is my year of taking over. I have a vision in life, I have a goal in life, I'm prospering in life. Wealth and riches is in my house. I'm achieving purpose in life. I'm going higher and higher. Go higher and higher 
in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful God bless you. We will also see you on Monday at 8 p.m. and Tuesday, Wednesday, every day of the week. As you can see around this room tonight, we have to thank you for coming. God bless you. Amen. God bless you.